my name is Caroline Ball um, and I am an academic librarian here in the UK. So I have in this box um, a myth which I am going to bust. So let's have a look and see what's in here, shall we? Okay, so people who are interested in academic books can easily access them already, whether they're open access or not. So this is our myth. So there's two particular words in this statement that I want to address, um, and that's easily and access. So can people who are interested in academic books access them? Yes, I suppose so, if you're prepared to pay. Um, academic books don't have the same large print runs as popular fiction and, and popular nonfiction, so they're often a lot more expensive to produce, and they therefore cost a lot more. So it's, it's not uncommon for an academic book to cost £100 or more. I've seen more expensive ones. So you have to ask yourself, how much do you really want to read it? I mean, you could borrow it from the library, except there aren't as many public libraries as there used to be, and most of those won't really be buying academic books. Now, if you're a member of an academic library or you're fortunate enough to live close enough to one that you can visit, you absolutely can definitely access academic books. The shelves are absolutely full of them. Except, you know, if there's a global pandemic on, maybe, and the library's closed, um, or if you live a long distance away, or you have work or family commitments, or if you need to use accessibility software, so you need digital copies. But hey, that's what we have eBooks for, right? Everything is available as an eBook these days. Except they're not. A recent study estimated that only about 10% of academic texts are actually available as eBooks. I know, it's pretty shocking, right? And many publishers won't actually sell ebooks to libraries. They see it as cannibalizing print sales. Or where they do, they often make them really expensive to make up for those lost print sales. And when I say that, we're talking like a thousand times more expensive than the print version. And the ebooks, they're not sold, not really. They're actually just kind of licensed or leased. So the libraries don't own them. And uh, often the ebooks come with a lot of what's called DRM, digital rights management which then limits the number of people who can access that book at any one time or what they can do with it. The license also restrict who's allowed to have access. So if you're not a member of staff or a student, that academic library probably can't actually give you access. So, you know, that leads us back to that print version again. But, you know, these days library budgets are stretched and with so many staff and students living and working and studying remotely, most libraries these days have an e-first policy, which means in some cases they actually might not be buying print copies at all. So we go back to that kind of statement, our, our myth. Can anyone who is interested in academic books access them? Honestly, not really. <laughs> 